Welcome back to another episode of Four Expedition Adventure. In this episode, we venture out to Bartlett Lake, Arizona to field test the iCamper SkyCamp Mini. Come along and enjoy beautiful views, great commentary about this exciting new rooftop tent, and find out what's new with Four Expedition. The next episode of Four Expedition Adventure starts now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Four Expedition Adventure. I'm Scott Luthold. Today I'm coming to you from Bartlett Lake, Arizona, which is located straight east from the town of Carefree, Arizona, which is where I now live. I'm out here field testing the iCamper SkyCamp Mini, which is sitting on the roof of my Subaru Outback 3.6R. I'm out here just enjoying this beautiful January evening. It's warm enough not to have a jacket on. I've got short sleeve shirt. It was in the mid 70s today. Just enjoying the sun going down on these beautiful mountains. I'm going to build myself a little campfire right here on the beach. I'm sure the stars will be nice and bright. And then I'll get up early tomorrow morning and shoot some nice photography and, and uh, capture some more footage of the iCamper SkyCamp Mini. If you ever get the chance to come out to Arizona in the wintertime with your vehicle, definitely come to Bartlett Lake. The water level is usually a little bit lower, so you can come right out onto the beach and park and build yourself a campfire out on a peninsula and just enjoy this beautiful winter time here in Arizona. And uh, all you really need is a Tonto Pass, which is about 15 bucks per night. If you haven't subscribed to the Four Expedition channel, please do so. And if you'd like to be notified of upcoming videos, please be sure to click the notification button. And as always, if you'd like to support Four Expedition, go to patreon.com slash Four Expedition. Your support goes a long way to creating quality content for this channel. I really look forward to sharing this episode with you. So sit back and enjoy the ride. breeze is picking up out here. It's getting a little bit chilly. Get this finished up, build myself a little campfire. I figured I'd build a little campfire and then I'd tell you a little bit about my cruise that I went on. If you watched my video where I went down to the Chiricahua National Monument, I talked about how I was heading out on a cruise and I'd never been on a cruise before and I'd always told myself I never would. But uh, Amy got me to go on a cruise with her and we had actually a phenomenal time and I uh, thought maybe I'd give you a little bit of a montage video sequence of a couple of uh, experiences I had down there island hopping in the Caribbean over Christmas and New Year's. Mmm, soup's good when it's freezing cold out. It wasn't long ago I told you that the temperatures were really nice and I was just in a t-shirt but you know how the desert goes. As soon as the sun goes down, man, it starts to chill right off, especially down here by this water. I wouldn't doubt that. 
The daytime temperature here tomorrow will probably be about 75 degrees. And tonight, it'll probably drop down to about 35 degrees. And I'll be sleeping in that rooftop tent with my zero degree, zero degree sleeping bag. Should be a good test for the eye camper. Mmm, that's some good soup. So a moment ago I was telling you I was going to give you a little video montage of my cruise trip, which I'll do that. But before I do, I just wanted to tell you that we took a 12-day trip. We were on a boat for 10 days. We went to um, St. Martin, Martinique, uh, Barbados, St. Vincent, um, Dominica, uh, St. John, St. Thomas. It was quite the trip. And uh, we went on Holland America cruise lines and it was a really nice time I didn't think I was gonna like it it was pretty busy certain times but um, there was just so much great entertainment and uh, the islands were all really wonderful a lot of very local type towns and actually the excursions that we went on did allow us to get submersed a little bit more into the islands than I thought we might uh, generally speaking when I go to an island I like to spend a lot of time on one island and just really get to know the place well and that wasn't quite the case here, but um, I, as I said, I was quite surprised as to how, how uh, submersed we were able to get. At the very end, we also went to Half Moon Cay, which is Holland America's private island. And that island, the beach there was just stunning. So here's a little video montage of my trip over Christmas and New Year's. Enjoy.
this campfire's courtesy eye camper. When uh, my eye camper sky camp mini was delivered to me, it was delivered on a pallet. And um, when I moved out of my central Phoenix house, I had to figure out what to do with that pallet. So I decided to get out my skill saw and chop it up into little pieces and I put it in a couple banker boxes. So this is part of the pallet. So thank you eye camper for keeping me warm tonight in more ways than one. Amy got me the steel drum for Christmas. I thought it might be a really good instrument for me to bring out into the wilderness by myself. It's a really peaceful sound, something I might be able to uh, perfect over time and create some really nice music. Sometimes when I'm out here in the wilderness, I have music playing and I'll sing as loud as I possibly can if nobody's around, dancing around the fire, just uh, letting it all go. Having an instrument or a couple different instruments out in the wilderness is kind of really cool. I've got a ukulele, I've got this steel drum. Uh, I thought about getting a few other, um, like a monochord, different things. Kind of a Native American drum or a flute would be cool to have also. And if you got a number of people out in the wilderness with you, you're out having a campfire and camping out, if you have four or five instruments and everybody just starts playing an instrument, before you know it, people are kind of like just hopping around the fire and playing music and, and uh, you know, making music, which is what it's all about. Well, good morning. I experienced really high winds last night. I'm pretty exposed out here on the end of this peninsula in the middle of the lake, so it's sometimes to be expected to get some high winds from the north coming down through the Verde Valley here. So it's a good test for the eye camper, Sky Camp Mini. Uh, I did have to wake up around 3 a.m. and open the skylight, and I took a couple pairs of socks and wedged them between the framing of the tent and the, and the rain fly on either side to tighten up the rain fly because the rain fly was fluttering quite a bit. I'm thinking there's probably a way to cinch that down a little tighter on the outside. But otherwise, all in all, it was um, a really good night's sleep and actually more comfortable than my other eye, eye camper. The, the padding here is actually almost, almost soft enough to sleep on without an air mattress. Uh, I climbed up here last night and actually almost fell asleep without even my uh, air mattress or my um, 
or my sleeping bag. And I had to kind of wake myself back up to put on, to, to fill up the air mattress and uh, get inside my sleeping bag. And I'm glad I did because it did get cold last night. But uh, surprisingly comfortable. And there's enough room. I'm sleeping on one side of the tent. And on the other side of the tent, I've got plenty of room for all my gear. I've got my clothing and my, uh, my cowboy hat and um, a power bank here to charge my iPhone and a bunch of lighting and things like that. So uh, there's plenty of room up here. Nice, solid sleeping system, and uh, definitely was dark in here. Um, when I opened the skylight, I realized it was much brighter out than I thought. I didn't even know. I woke up here, at, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> it's a Monday, uh, but we've got Martin Luther King Day today, so we've got today off. But uh, yeah, slept till 8 o'clock and didn't even realize it. I thought it was maybe 6 a.m. I did notice that it was light out, but I didn't realize just how light until I opened the skylight. One difference to note between the iCamper SkyCamp Mini and the four-person SkyCamp that I've been using the last couple of years is that the Mini requires you to sleep perpendicular to the vehicle. Whereas with the iCamper four-person, I could choose between sleeping perpendicular to the vehicle or parallel to the vehicle. And the reason that is something to note is the fact that you have to make sure your car is a, a very, very level for sleeping. Uh, so I'll have to be a little bit more careful about how I park my vehicle so that my head and feet are level with one another or my head is a little bit higher than my feet so they don't have blood rushing to my head. But that's a real minor concern and I think that the Mini being so much smaller of a footprint on the roof of the vehicle and being that much lighter than the four-person tent, uh, that's a small price to pay. actually a pretty breezy morning this morning. It's also a little bit chilly at times. When the sun comes out, it gets warm. And then when the clouds come over and the breeze picks up, it gets cold again. So I've had a different set of layers on and off all morning. Started out with a sweatshirt, then put on my down jacket with a sweatshirt, then took all that off and just had a t-shirt. Then I put on a light jacket. Pretty typical of the desert in the wintertime. I mean, sometimes in the winter it can get up to mid 90s and then uh, it can drop down into the low 30s. It doesn't usually drop below zero, but we can right where I am at right here, this can get snow and actually can have accumulation of snow. That's one of the things I really love about Carefree where I moved. Phoenix is about 1,086 feet in elevation above sea level and Carefree actually sits at 2,600 feet above sea level. And I can actually live in Carefree and do all my work down in the valley. So the commute between the city and Carefree climbs that many feet in elevation. Pretty crazy. And it's probably about eight to 10 degrees cooler up there, especially at night in the summertime and in the wintertime. And the cacti in the carefree area can actually get covered in snow at times. It's really beautiful. And being that we're straight east of carefree, this area here also gets snow accumulation at times. But it's never cold enough to freeze over any ice or anything like that. Well, I think I'm going to pretty much pack things up here, head back to my house, start doing some editing on some of these videos. I've got uh, a number of videos to provide. And I've got some other work I've got to get done. I'm still somewhat unpacking my house, but it's all stuff I'm really looking forward to. I think 2020 is gonna be a great year. I'm calling 2020 the year of clarity, 2020 vision. And I definitely feel like that's happening for me. 2019, I strayed a little bit, worked on some projects that were great projects for certain reasons, but not really to, um, 
active pursuit of my passions. So I'm definitely going to move toward only working on things that I'm passionate about. I hope you can find some clarity in 2020 as well. All right, so I got this all packed up and ready to go. I'm gonna be pulling the lid down and we'll be on our way. Easy peasy. Boy, I have to say that setup and takedown of the iCamper SkyCamp Mini was really easy. Uh, the setup was only one minute. The takedown was probably about a minute and a half, and that's primarily because I had to make a couple of adjustments by standing up on the tire to fix how it drops down so it laid down flat. Um, I don't think that's going to happen the second time because I know how to lay it down properly. But uh, literally, one minute setup, one minute takedown. So if you're considering getting an iCamp or SkyCamp Mini, I would definitely get your name on the list and reserve one in advance. They come out in March, as I mentioned, of this year, 2020. If you have any questions about it, since I've got one now, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. If you're in Arizona or you're in California, Utah, and you make your way to Arizona, I'm more than happy to show you the iCamper SkyCamp Mini on my vehicle and show you how I've got it mounted up there with the Prinzu Design Studio Performance Roof Rack. It's a really great setup and I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far and I think it's gonna be a really great uh, adventure setup and camping setup for my overland and car camping adventures. All right, everybody, I think that's a wrap for this episode of Four Expedition Adventure. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you aren't a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified of upcoming videos, be sure to hit the notification button. And as always, if you'd like to support Four Expedition, go to patreon.com slash Four Expedition. Your support goes a long way to creating quality content for this channel. Until the next time, take care.